Mama. Again. Oh, it's Freckles, Carissa! I think she trusts you with her baby. Did you do that? I think so. What is going on? Do you have a foot there or just a head? Mama, come on. Have we brought you back to life? We have a pretty deformed lamb. You're just a little mess. Again. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this you, I would feel really bad for her, but this is the second lambing in a row she's done this. Uh, so I'm not happy. Last time I was able to save the lamb, this time it was long gone. Um, however, I have a fresh bottle baby that I put in the uh, nanny area last night, late last night, because her mom was rejecting her. So I'm gonna grab it and uh, put mama's she dropped her cleanings at the very back at the corner. I'm gonna grab them, wipe that lamb with it and see if she'll foster it. We'll see. I don't know. I want you. Yep. I want you. Yep. And just like magic. She's a 2016 you. she's an older you, and uh, this is probably her last lambing. She's had a lot of strikes. But this makes kind of up for it. <laughs> this is when I get a soft heart. And hey, it's one less for Carissa and I to train. It's fine. Should have grabbed another one, but she doesn't have that much milk. All right, how many have we had for this morning? We have had... We just have one so far. One. This lady had two. This lady had two. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. So ten lambs out of one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Well, that math isn't very good, lady. Get it together. It's funny how a, cu a couple singles can bring down your whole percentage. But the rest were good. They were twins. Twins are good. Oh, it's Freckles, Carissa! It's Freckles! Freckles? Good girl! You had another one. Hi, sweetie. They're gorgeous, honey. There. Here, Mama. Good girl.
Oh, she's next. Good girl, Freckles. I think that's when you're talking, she like, <laughs> there she goes, see? She's like, what are you saying? Oh my God. I think she trusts you with her baby. She's saying, thank you. I don't have it in me anymore. How are we doing? You got it figured out over there? You're such a good mommy. Hi. Oh, she's spitting out a lamb now, that one. That suffix spitting out a lamb now. I see a water bag, so I'll have to keep an eye. Did you do that? I think so. Mama had another one. She's quite a little pickle, to be honest. We had some words. Um, but yeah, it's uh, she's still a good mom, so whatever. She doesn't have to like me, she just has to like them. Okay, you guys, it is after lunch. We have been busy, oh, I've been busy for two days, just doing a lot of this. Uh, we've got a lot of use having three lambs, so we're always at least feeding one lamb of a, mul of a multiple, of a set. Uh, however, I think we're finally feeling the effects of this Mady Visna issue. Um, you can Google Mady Visna. Um, I've talked about it. We found it in our flock with goat uh, last year. One of the signs of Mady Visna is lower milk production, and I've been watching that fairly closely when I go to wean my lambs. I really go over their data pretty hardcore to see if there's anything I can notice. And where it starts is here. So when we first strip out the ewe, uh, if they have low milk supply, um, I've been trying to really keep tabs on who those animals are. The problem has been when we do these shift changes, like um, Chris is gone all afternoon, so I am taking over doing this. So I see different things than what she does. I see things as soon as I strip mom out when, I, when she delivers. And I, and I need a system so that either I know when I go to record the lamb 24 hours later, or she knows when she takes over bottle feeding, uh, who, who besides a multiple should be getting this. We've got a lot of twins on bottles right now. Um, so I, I was kind of upset about it last night with Mark and he said, mark them, mark them with a spray paint can. I'm like, oh, okay. So the blue dot on, so we've, we painted anyone with questionable milk supply. I painted a blue dot on the ewe's uh, neck and any lambing problems. So if they were backwards, if I pulled, I put a red dot on the mum. So I only started that yesterday, but yesterday was a pretty big day. So hopefully I'll start collecting data that way a little better. 
Um, I always try to collect as much data as I remember, but it's 24 hours later. And a day like yesterday, we had like 39 lambs, I think, born yesterday. So I just, you lose track very easily. I'm moving them all the time. Every day I move them to a different pen. So I can't even remember. Sometimes you can kind of remember what pen they were in, but I can't even do that because I move them all the time. So this system's working really nicely. It's keeping Chris and I a little more organized. Um, but this has been really time consuming. We do it for, for like two hours in the morning, two hours in the afternoon, and two hours last night. We were out here until uh, almost nine o'clock last night, just bottle feeding. So anyway, I don't know how people do it without a nanny. Like. Like eventually they will be in there and that will save our lives and we will feel happier about life. But the last two days have been brutal and it now shows me the importance of health of your use and how Mady visit. If this is Mady, um, I'm just finding it awfully ironic. It's my older use. It's the ones that I've been really checking uh, when it comes down to if they stay or if they go. They're the 2017, 2016 use. So they're uh, what is that? Five and six years old? Six and seven years old now, right? Like in the new year? Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, all the things you learn, but I wouldn't know any of this without data, and I'm trying my best to collect the data, and this is just a simple way of doing it, just using the spray paint. We are officially over half done. I think there's been, I think we have 55 that have already lambed, and I'm pretty sure we only had about 95 or 96 in this group uh, and then the three aborted at the beginning so yeah it's exciting it's been really fast I think it's his time <laughs> she's like no kidding and I believe this one is making some noise yeah Got nothing coming out though. Nothing. Mm hmm. Alrighty then. Mom, uh, what is going on? <laughs> That's four. You have like one an hour? One every other hour? There you go. Go meet mom. Do you have a foot there or just a head? Can you lay down and I can give you a hand here? Okay. Hmm. I might need to get a gate. Why do you guys get up ahead? Oh, you're beautiful. Hi. Hi, Luna. I love your colors. So because she had that head stuck, I'm going to put a red dot, a red paint mark on her back. Just to remind me she had problems landing. This one's a hard one. This one's tight, like the nose is angled up. 
No grip with this glove. backwards. So you gotta push the lamb back in and reposition. There. There we go. Are you alive? Nope. Why are you guys not alive? Nothing wrong with them. Oh, you got another one. Oh, I love a duck. It's a day of quads. I think this looks bad. I think you're alive. Yep, you're alive. Good mom. So why are two alive and two not? Why? Oh. I think that's it. Good. Got milk. So yeah, four, but two are not with us. And I'm not sure why, like they're good size. And the first one and the last one were alive, so why weren't those? We had a boy. Looks <laughs> just like you, Mom. Little mini me? Hmm? Hi, buddy. You are spry. Mom's like, what did you do to me, Junior? Mm-hmm. Okay, I thought I'd show you what I did. So Green always marks if she had more lambs that aren't, that died. So she had two lambs that died, that's the green, and the one lamb was a hard pull right there. Uh, so that's red. That little lamb, the one of the four, so the, the, the two, were, two were not alive and two were very much alive, like the one I pulled out uh, head first came out like once it was up and going, it was like trying to run out. It got up into the manger and was trying to run away. So it was like spunky. And when I went to try to feed a claustrum I'm like a whole 10 minutes later, he wouldn't drink. I'm like, you're acting, you're acting like your temp is too low. So I put a thermometer in him and uh, sure enough, 36 degrees. So literally one degree to get to 37 and it wouldn't drink. So we did a water bath just like the other day and it's on the, uh, he's on the heating pad right now. So it'll probably only take maybe half an hour if that, and then he will most likely drink. I just, it's not even cold in there today. So I don't know. Well, oh, she's toasty warm. Have we brought you back to life? Shall we take a temp? Thirsty? That means time to drink. <laughs> you ready to go? Okay. Yeah, let's see if this works. Works like a charm. Look at that, little champ. <laughs> Good 
All right, I better remember to do this before my Gallagher runs out of battery. Again, it's run out twice because I keep lambing as I'm tagging. Uh, it took me all day. Uh, it took me like an hour and a half this morning and all afternoon to get all the ewes and lambs, oh God, uh, tagged from yesterday. So the final count as of yesterday, last night, is 106 lambs out of 46 ewes. 106 out of 46, 2.3, I think we gained a point. So yeah, 2.3 lambs per ewe. It makes sense, we've had a lot of triplets. We either have triplets or singles, I find, so 2.3 makes maybe some sense. I've been actually taking some of these triplets and lambs that need milk, you can hear them, and putting them right in the bottle pen, and they've gone right to the nipple. Like, I haven't done anything, they just, they're so hungry, they just go right to it, so. Um, yeah, so we're kind of getting more on a system now, and the more lambs that are in the pen, uh, the more they get on it because they see the other ones drinking, so they just go right to it. So you do have to wait till you have enough to get those things going. I think that's all you guys missed out on. So yeah, 2.3. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's been a long week, but today's been a long day. A uh, couple long days actually, because we were late last night too. It's uh, it's eight o'clock and uh, I'm just doing one final check. Chris is just leaving right now. And uh, oh, this mama, are you having a baby or are you just starting? Oh, she has some blood, so I might check her because uh, I think I saw her this afternoon kind of pacing. So maybe not her to check. I was really hoping to go home. <laughs> well, you guys, I guess it was a good thing I helped. We have a pretty deformed lamb, like stubby nosed, but it's alive. I don't really understand how. but it's definitely a lot. Like, do I try to feed it? It keeps cranking its neck up. I don't know. Why, why aren't these ones taken out and the ones that are perfectly healthy live? I don't know. That's weird though. Look how perfect the other one is. What happened with this one? I don't think it's cash because the legs don't really look that to be that curt. Oh, these are pretty locked up. Like if it was ever trying to walk, I wonder. Yeah, I don't think it's right. Hmm. I just cannot believe that's alive. What are you? A little girl. Spine feels straight, and the legs, except for these front legs, are kind of locked up. I would imagine the prognosis is not great. I'm gonna see if you can really make out how deformed. You actually don't look that bad, you're just a little mess. If you look at it from the side, that looks pretty deformed. And it's like kind of flattish. That's the other side. Can you walk? No. Yeah, I just 
can't keep its neck. It's like... It's like hard curved. Like, it's not like it's elastic-y, it's like... Rigor mortis -y. Oh, that's a good aim of this nose, eh? Yeah. yeah, that's pretty best. Sorry, buddy. I am glad I stuck around, and uh, the first one came out no problem, really. I just helped her. I think she was just, just nicely dilated. Um, so she probably would have had this one in the next half half hour, um, but that one would have been a nightmare to get out because it was coming out backwards. Um, and with that head hooked, it was just it would have been it would have been tough on that U. So I don't know what to say about this lamb. I kind of I hate it sounds horrible, but I kind of wish it was not born alive because it's it's not gonna live. Like you can't feed it properly because its neck is completely kind of doing the exorcist thing. It's like going the wrong way. So I would imagine it won't even be able to swallow. I'm gonna grab a bottle and feed this one. I don't know if I'd even attempt to feed that one. <sighs> We've been doing good. This is the real first deformity, I would say. You're never gonna believe this, but this lamb is actually drinking and I just wanted proof and just not my word for it. Like, can you believe this? Watch. <laughs> no, it probably won't. It's drinking. Like. <laughs> Drink. Drink a hundred mils. It was at 150. Can you believe this? But what am I gonna do with you? Like, you can't stand. You're not really interested, are you? No? That one's got life figured out. Sorry, little buddy. Maybe I'll throw you in the warm room tonight. Yeah, maybe I'll do that.